Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did like this. Yeah, but it's not going right. to be the other one. No, no, it's just like that. Okay. I we are on quick page group one hey slow moving out of this page. <clears throat> Before we establish our starting point, let's introduce the general topic, which is what is the effect of the market upon the world or the people. In simple terms, market means that which is coming from above, which has no possibility, no receptacle below. It is coming from above and remains a super presence, a spirit that, that that world cannot absorb. And the question is, what effect does that have upon the world? The particular reference to the market in, and so far, is the from Ak Odom Kadmin. Odom Kadmin is the topmost cognizance of world. It's the mighty for world. So let us start, perhaps at the beginning of Summer Khalif, even though we already did it quickly. The first line, the beginning of Adam Kadme. He says in the Adam Kadme, Hagam the Leishaya be Yislav to the beginning of Epinim. And although Adam Kadme is a, a mighty, and therefore in the beginning of Epinim, in a manner that Epinim is mislabish in the game, Yislav just means it's being contained. Matif cannot be contained in any definitive receptacle. Therefore, it's not possible that it should be slapshots or hypnotic. The combo coin, yet still, the slapshots is not possible. How orders, okay, again, how order, to discuss how order again, how order is due with the, the how order. The effect, how that means the effect of this view, of this revelation of Adam Kadmi, more is the Israel is imperative that it should be by 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 you. Every ye must be affected by the reflection of this or of the of Adam Kadmi. Ayid is fundamentally, fundamentally means the way he is, he is in his pristine state. Without any learning, without any focus. The way Ayid is, as he's created from above, has the sensitivity to the giver of Adam Kavli.
<coughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, perhaps I should put something on for and the security goes in and sneezes. Hello. Just five minutes. Please interruption. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the term Ha'orah we discussed a little bit already. But every time it's mentioned, you know, we'll discuss it a little more. <clears throat> to remain on this call, press one. I heard something. Yeah. It's not disconnected, right? It's not disconnected. I hope not. I have this one. I have this one. Yeah. Oh, I think it's a dial again. Welcome. No, thank you. You are now entering the conference room. To exit the conference room, press star star. For help, press star nine. Participant number one. Yeah, I'm disconnected. <coughs> The way to understand how order <coughs> there's an interesting, really phenomenon in world experience. There is day and night. Day, we know what day is, there is light. The night is dark. Light, in order for light to reach any place, there has to be an, um, an open space, <clears throat> at the minimum a window. Light does not go through a brick wall. So light in general, if it is a, just a, a lantern and light, it will not be felt except in the place where the light itself reaches. But daylight 
is felt throughout the world. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if the light itself is not seen. There's a sense of the prince of the of the fact that it is day, even if, if the light of day is not uh, is not um, um, experienced, not seen. This is called the ha'orah of this gilu of day. Because even though we call it daylight, <laughs> daylight means that light is brought in by day. But day itself is not identified, created, not created by the light. Day is a certain period in the world, which is called day. For example, in Bizamigdosh, Korbonis were permitted to be brought only by day, not because of the, because of, because of the light of day. Similarly, even in our own life, They have Krishna in Krishna, Bishohu of Kumeho, if they're in Krishna in the morning. Normally, the morning means because you, you, the daylight wakes you up, Kumeho. But even if there is, that's called the Yemaham Uno, it is heavily clouded, you can still say Krishna, even though you don't experience a daylight. Because they, is a, is a period that is suitable for Avinus Hashem, even if the light of day does not reach the world itself. Why is that? Because the order of the daylight, the reflection and the effect of it is still there. There's more to speak about how all of it, just to give us a little bit of a feel for it. All right, let's go a third line from the top um, um, on the bottom section of page Kuf Nun Hey. Now goes the shop, now goes on the Kuti table. The Buddha did explain, this principle that we say that there is a horror of this, of Odom Kadmin. Odom Kadmin is the top of the market in the world. The horror of it is felt in, in, in Israel in every year. So my over there is explaining over there, where do we notice, where do we recognize this haor? So saying that this is the principle. Masik nurses, you saw in the crow color. But the Knesset is the Jewish people as a whole. Knesset is means that which contains all the Jewish Neshomas. But Knesset means a gathering, a gathering. This is a soil called Kala. What is the word Kala in the note? Miloshin Kol Sonafshi. Kala is based on the word of the expression of the, of the language term of Kol Sonafshi. My soul goes out. That's what's come. What is the principle? My soul goes out. 
Shadesh Bikolach of Yahad Mishra. This cause of Nafshi is present in every Yid, Benitsus Nishmose, in the very purity of the spark of his Nishom. Benitsus Nishmose is to point out, we're talking about the Nishom as the Nishom is unto itself, not as the Nishom is Muslavish in the group. <coughs> that is already and not purely Nisham. Then the Nisham is dealing with the with the with the with the challenges of the goof. The Nisham is in the in the in the spark of the Nisham. Let us talk, speak for a moment of the, the term Nitzus Nishmos. Nitzus means the spark. <clears throat> then there is also oil, light. The difference between oil and nitsus is that oil extends itself and ultimately and ultimately illuminates the area around itself. Nitsut is a spark. The spark does not relate to its surrounding at all. The spark is an entity unto itself. So on the one hand, in terms of services, so to speak, the light of the Nishoma provides much more than the, than the spark. But in terms of the purity of Nishoma, the spark is in the Shoma, pure, in the Shoma purity and the Shoma itself, where it does not relate to anything outside of the Shoma. It cannot. The spark does not really, is not being Islam, it does not really uh, engage in illuminating the area. He's just mentioning, I'm here. That's what the spark is. Because this color, Kakalo, is present in every in the Shoma beneath the Nishmos, in the Nitzus and the spark within Shom. We call it we know it by Vayech. This spark contains this draw to be incorporated and to cleave to Vayech to to the Achdus Hashem. Echod, as we spoke to yesterday a little bit, the word Echod means. <coughs> Pure oneness, as the as Alakus comes from this from from Alaka, from from the source itself. The Nitzus of oh, this the Nitzus and the Shom. To remain on this call, press one. The Nitzus and the Shom, the spark of the Nisham, as we said, the principle of the spark is that it is not identified with its surrounding. It's just making itself, expressing itself as it is unto itself. And what is the message, the, the message that this part is saying? The message is that it wants to be connected to Rabbi Echon. That's why we're going to the world altogether. This is the call the Kalo principle in the Nishom. It's like a spark that stays in, 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 in itself rather than get involved with anything uh, around it. Okay, and this on the end of the fourth line, the Yahav this Ahav, this draw, <clears throat> okay, I started, started talking about Ahav yesterday, <laughs> I didn't, didn't go into, but now we'll try to go in. <clears throat> Ahav.
Just to give us a little bit of a, of a beginning of a handle. We know that that every physical ob object, if you held up in the air, if you let go, it will fall down to the ground. This falling down to the ground is almost an inadvertent phenomenon. Whether how it, whether it falls down to the bottom or, it, or it's drawn down, the point is, it is something which does not does not express an internal draw of the object. Not that this object seeks to be by the earth. There's some kind of a natural phenomenon that, that it falls down. We discussed a little bit, and there's more to talk about it, but principally that I want to emphasize, it is not an internal draw of the object that it, it is seeking the earth. Ahava is also something that draws that draws the neshama to whatever it wants. But Ahava is an <clears throat> an internal ident internally identifiable quality. He is looking for something for this. It is not something he's being drawn there inadvertently. This is why it's, it's used to hear the word Ahava. Even though it is, in a certain sense, a natural draw, almost comparable to, to an object falling down to the ground. But it's not. It has a quality of Ahava. Kosa Nafshi is an Ahava in the Nishom which means that this is something which is not that the Nishama falls down or comes to be drawn to it, but he wants it. The Nishama is permeated with this desire. That's what's called Ahava. Okay, so now on the, on the end of the fourth line. Yahavo zo, this Ahava, which as we said, is <laughs> present in the, in the Nitzus of the Nishama. Again, the word nitzutz refers to the neshama as a neshama in its purity, like a spark. A light, we can say a light has another function to illuminate its surroundings. A spark doesn't have a function. A spark is only telling you that there's a fire here. That's what the word means, nitzutz neshons, the spark of the neshama. The spark of the neshama contains this union that it is, it wants to be incorporated by vayechot. And this is called Iwanti Ahava. Also. This is Ahava. Now, with this it want to be incorporated with Avaya Echod, it permeates the entire Tinnitus. It is not an inadvertent phenomenon. This is what this Nitzit stands for. Normally, a spark, as we know, a spark lasts a very a short moment. That way, it's for a spark. In our perception, the reason the spark lasts a certain short moment is that it actually burns out, it already consumed all its power and burned out and there's no, and there's no more means of vision to stay. That's why a spark is, is a momentary spark. But when, when we use the word nitsus, a spark in the shop, it also lasts for a moment. But there, the last, the moment, the last thing is not because it exhausted its resource. The reason it lasts a moment is because 
it actually <coughs> goes back to its source. It's no longer identifiable on its own. This is the Ava we're talking about. The Sahaba Yed Bekulach Abdelhub Mi Yisroel, Bitmidus. Everyone knows that's on the other, the fourth line. This Sahaba is present in every Yid. No matter what Madriya of Yid is, it's in the very, it's in the Shomer element itself. Bitmidus constantly. In other words, this is not an Ava that needs to be aroused, that needs to be <coughs> identified and, and, and alerted to him. Right? Look, look what you what you have. This is between us a constant. This is what this 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 is what this Nitzus is about. Ukmeisha Kosu and at the Pesach says, "The man is a mechachol lo yidai." In order, the man saw that it's a mechachol that Hashem's praise will be will be presented be covered with in full honor. And will not cease. Doing means to be quiet. This song never ends. And as the expression it says, Kori Todi Bleshokich. This expression of Kori Todi Bleshokich is speaking about the lower element that the there's the Maimel Yirim and Maimel Dachtenim, and and that which is below, which is which is sent down into the world. It has a constant calling, drawing to to that which is above. Lo shokich in the does does not cease, and this is called Ahav because this is really an internal experience in the Neshama itself. And even low quality people. So you would say the low quality person is not sensitive to any ruchnis, to any godliness. He is just, he's all quality, he's, he's drawn to the low element of, of creation. She says that's not quite correct. There is that behind that quality. Namely, that he's in a constant, in the Nishama, a constant draw and a pull and a, and a, and a a force, a force going towards Abaye um, 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 Echod The Neshoma, by definition, what the Neshoma is, identifies with the Ahdus Hashem, with the unity of Hashem, even though it's in the world. That's not its about, that's not what it identifies with. It can find peace in itself because it identifies with um, the presence of the Lakus. If it were world, it would not find peace with itself. It's in a constant draw to, to, to Aldous Hashem. This is true, not only in a Shoma, on a high level of Shoma, but it is true even Pusey Erech. People are called a low quality. Low quality, you think you would not be sensitive to, to a godly element which is totally intangible. Just no. I'm Again, I'm means someone who has not at all, who has not developed his intelligent, his intellectual qualities, his seichel at all. It's called Amhoret. That's what's called Amhoret. Horet means the earth. Without 
developing an intellectual quality, what does a person know? What does a person want to know without any insight, without any intellectual process? Earth. There's no way to avoid, to, to, to ignore Earth. Earth is what, what, what constitutes his reality, sense of reality. It's called Amra Ordens. Normally, every person who has had some kind, some exposure, some intellectual development, yes, Earth is, is, is a place where he lives, but this is not what he relates to. It's constantly looking out to something more significant. What is it about? Even on Earth, Earth there is the, the, the base of the Earth. Then there is the grass that grows from the Earth. Then there is the bushes that grow from the Earth. Then there is the, the, the trees that grow from the Earth. Then there's a fruit tree that goes from the earth. All this all comes from earth. But some of it, with some sense, with some intellectual development, <coughs> he, he will be a, 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 attracted to the flower, to the fruit tree. He will be attracted to that to, to, uh, uh, most significant, higher quality that earth uh, represents. Amho Oritz is one who, who, who cannot relate to anything but the, the, the bottommost, the solid ground to the Amho Oritz. Even this Amho Oritz has in his Nishoma a spark. Again, we mentioned about spark. Spark means something that, that does not have any functional interest to illuminate this area. Spark means just a, a, a momentary fire. This momentary fire is an expression of the fact that he is, there's some kind of a desire there. And this desire lasts for a moment, then it, then it burns out. Where does the desire come from for this moment? Some, for some reason, he feels he's missing something. The Nishama feels it's missing something, and therefore it sparks up. But it doesn't have a lasting power. So it sparks up, burns out, and then he no longer has the impetus to, to, to burn it to shine. The impetus of burning the shine is when he when he's in total darkness. The minute there's a little bit of light, he's not he's no longer interested. This is why it comes with a, as a spark. The nishoma we say, even the spark of the nishoma has a constant draw to the cross. Even though it's called a spark, but the draw to the cross is constant. <clears throat> and that's why they said this is Zoya Kori Tori Tori Vashoki. Kori Tori, it is calling constantly Vlashoki. The, the lower level is constantly calling to the upper level. Vlashoki does not cease. It just reminds, reminds him who he is and reminds him. Sorry, the spark. It's like the function of the spark is it to wake him up and remind him who he is, or you know? uh, the spark. The spark. It doesn't remind him because he reminds himself in turn. In because of the darkness, he reminds himself who he is. So he comes out in the form of a spark. And this spark is rooted in the fact that there is an Nishoma, this constant Ab, 
So when he's in Turkey, when, when he doesn't sense that, he immediately comes out with a, with a fire. This Ahava is present in every individual, he bitmidus in total constancy. Again, the word Ahava. Ahava means that this is not something that, that functions inadvertently. Ahava is a love that is experienced internally and permeates the entire being, the entire Nishok. She went back a lot now, right? Well, mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't go back. It just I'm just re, re reviewing that which you said because we have to go by bitmidus. The word bitmidus means constantly. That that, that that that's still the part of the of that of that sentence. How would you translate? Oh, you're right. Koritori. We already went to the other outline. Yeah. How would you translate the Nitzus Nishmasa? Nitzus Nishmasa means the spark of his Nishom. And we explained what is the influence in the word spark. There's a light. I'm just repeating what we already said today. There's a light and there's a spark. A light is the functional aspect of light that illuminates its surrounding. A spark has no function. Spark is only telling you that there's a fire over there. The spark of the neshama is not when the neshama goes out to illuminate the goof or anything. It is the burning, internal burning in the neshama itself. And then there is the constant draw to be incorporated in Avaya Okay. So you're right, we should go to the next line. The line it's, ends with the word Afila Bakusa Can I ask something? But yes, one second. Afil Bakusa Yadh, this is what happens. I was going back to the, the previous line. Afil Bakusa Yadh to Amorit. In every in every Nisham, even in a, a low level of an Nisham, and Amo Oretz means one who has not risen from, from ground, from earthly awareness to anything higher than earth. This is the reference in Amo Oretz. Because earth you can't, you can't ignore. You can ignore a tree, you can ignore the grass, but you can't ignore earth. Amo Oretz is the one who knows that which is not ignorable. And yet, Yej begins to this quality is present there too. That he is aware, he has a, he has a draw to the cross. All right. Raj, yes. I know. Okay, so we know, we know we're know together on this one. Rock, except. Just can I ask one, one thing? Yes, 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 Simon. Yes was explained that a spark is an eternal fire of the Neshama, but does it have anything, but another other was said that the spark is saying I'm here. Does it have anything to do externally to say that I'm here is also some kind of communication to the outside? True. But the reason that a spark, okay, this will need a little bit, a little bit elaboration. The reason that the spark is express itself to the outside is not that it is seeking to make itself known outside, not that it's seeking to, to it, it's not that it's seeking any kind of connection to the outside. The reason that it is seen outside is because the spark is a true, pure, 
presence of fire. Because it's a true, pure presence of fire, it is, it, 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 nothing can block, block its presence. Nothing can, 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 can conceal its presence. This is why it's, not because it seeks to express itself. It's just speaking. It it, it 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 is expressing what it material, what it true, what it is. That's with fire. That's what a spark is. Like I said before, the difference between a spark and a fire. A fire has some kind of a function to to catch fire, to 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 um, consume. A spark has no function whatsoever. And, and he's not trying to express, it's just happening no. that he's... That's right, he's not trying to express, it's just, it's just himself. Okay. <clears throat> and in this park there is the constant draw to the course. Okay, let's continue the, the line, the, the we fifth line. Nishmaso is usually, we think about Nishmaso is doing this, the Nisham itself doing this. Nitzit Nisham, Nitzit Nishmaso. Right. The spark of the Nisham. <clears throat> we explain the difference between Nishama and Nitzit Nishmaso. Nishama has a, has a broader function. The Shoma ultimately gives life to the goof and so forth. Nitzutz does not, does not relate to any of that. Nitzutz is just saying what the Shoma in its purity is. All right, let's continue on. <coughs> the line starts with one Erech. This is the sixth line from the beginning of that section. Even before you know, Lord, more, it's, there is this Bechino on this constant draw to the Lord. Rak except, okay, he is the of the sensitive area, except Sheino be his galus, Mugeshes, Benavsham, Tom. Sha'ina be his galus magyashas. This spark and this draw, this ahava, is not in a state of revelation of a sensed. Magyashas means a sensed revelation, a relation that is sensed by them, but not from in the Neshama told me all the time. Even in the Neshama itself, in other words, the fact that they do not sense this ahava. Is not only because the neshama is in the goof, and then are sensitive in the goof, they are sensitive to the neshama. This chusi erech means in the neshama itself. In the neshama, it is not fully sensed because that is not a low, a low level of neshama. <coughs> Another two minutes. Rak except musteres. It is hidden, concealed. Mibhinas makif. In a makif manner. Shoyimer aleha mil mail. And it is protecting them. Looking at looking, it's, it's um, embracing them mil mail from above. Even our has an element of of Ahabatolakus. But that Abba is concealed. Even in the Shom it is not sensed. 
what then is this arrow? The function of this arrow. It is hovering and watching over them from above. <clears throat> this clearly has a, a much a, a loaded statement. The principle of this, again, we will we try to identify it a, a little bit. We don't have much time now just to, to start from a marshal. We said a while ago that in every issue, in every school, there is a principal. There are teachers, there's a principal. The principal deals, and does not deal with the day with the day to day operation. The teacher is, is, is involved with what they learn. The principal is not. Yet, there is a profound effect of the school. The fact that there is a principal. A school without a principal is lacking some very fundamental meaning. This principle affects what is the pattern principle? Pattern principle is an overall statement. This is a meaningful area. This is a meaningful institution. This is not only that which actually takes place there. The very fact that this religious institution already has a meaning. The meaning is the meaning to step into step into this institution before you even hear anything that's going on. You're already an insider. There's already an effect on, on the principle of this of this institution. We're losing our uh, sorry clientele. Client. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes, we're losing our clientele. <clears throat> okay, I had to finish my sentence. Okay, thank you. Altef, Shkoyach. To express one 